Hey everybody, I'm the Green Knight. Let's play some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. So I think if we talk to the Lord here, he has something for us to do. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujets, and I must say he's a very interesting man. I should say so. Have you ever seen him at swordplay? Not bad for a man of the cloth, is he? Rumor has it, when he finished his studies at the university where his father sent him, he decided the religious life wasn't for him, and vanished to foreign parts. They say he made a living as a mercenary. I even heard he fought against the Turk at the Battle of Kosovo, and then he suddenly came back and settled down here. No doubt it cost his family plenty, but he's a fair man and I'm fond of him. There's a lot to be said for a priest with a good understanding of vice. Henry, just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujits. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. The nincompoop. What should I do about him, then? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy. Have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time the prelates just invent them, to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure that interfering bastard gets out of here. Are you at odds with the Archbishop in some way, sir? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no guarantee he doesn't have his eye on my estate. But how can he get his hands on it? He's an archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. And now, without the king around, it's the perfect time to amass a nice little horde. Believe me, I know. They say in Prague that he's a complete dolt. But I rather doubt that. Why? All the Hare clan are as shrewd as they come. I know that better than most. Uh-huh. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. And be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels. Wily Take weasels. Care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes. Take care. So, one odd thing that I noticed is that he says, the Archbishop may be after his estate, but is it his estate or isn't he just running things for his nephew? I'm a little confused by that. Maybe he has his own land in the area, too. All right, let's see. What do we got to do? We have to come all the way up here to Ujdes. So I guess we should probably get moving. We're probably going to have to spend the night there. So we can do that. Yeah, it's kind of late already. And we are going to need to eat at some point in time.
And we're fast traveling up there. It seems to be a peaceful trip right now. And it is dark. Yep. Um, no, I don't care about the Wayfarer. It's a long way up to here. Okay, so I think we will just spend the night here. See if we can't get a room. Yep, there is the innkeeper. We should be able to get a room. Before we start our business in the morning. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I do have some nice clothes on right now. Is there somewhere I could sleep here? Certainly. For how long? Just the one night. Sure, but let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Two ducats. You, you're you bothering are. me about two ducats. You all Please. like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. All right, I know where the bed's May at. The Lord watch over you. The bed is in here, and I think I have to eat, right? I do. So let's go get some food out of the pot. And then I think we just uh, spend the night. Up the letter. And this is my little bed here. All right, probably should wait until like eight. Nothing's going on before eight o'clock. Yeah, for a medieval land, they get up awful late. I think in reality, they'd be up at dawn. Most people, at least. Shortly after six, anyways. Okay, do we need to eat? I think we are good for right this minute, at least. Now, let's look. Who are we going to go talk to? Jump the bricks. It's a nice animation they put in. Dude, is he in bed still? <laughs> what a lazy bum. What a lazy bum. Godwin's concubine. These are the vicar guards. Should we wait an hour for him to get up? We could. Here, let's go and uh, wash up. After all, it is a new day. And then we'll wait an hour for him to get up. He'll probably get up at 9. So that's probably good. What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lipa. Sir Hanish, hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. Those dangerous heretics. How can I help you, then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Gutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Naturally, father. Otherwise, Sahanish wouldn't have sent me. I see. 
It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, father. Odd. <laughs> are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. Torture. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujitz a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together Torture. a list. <laughs> I'm guessing he didn't speak willingly. Of course not. Little wonder his strength is again. In the executioner's clutches. <laughs> Jankiness. It's a pity. He might have known more. My lad, guard your tongue. It's unwise to question the ways of Mother Church. Heretics are a conquer on the body of the church. Do you know what's to be done with such an ulcer? You take the hot iron to it and burn it out. It may hurt. It hurt me too to have to cause the man to suffer. But it had to be done for the well-being of the church. Oh, I'm sure. Who are these Valdensians? I've never heard of them. Really? Valdensians? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Retai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... Oh my gosh. Jankiness again. Both possibilities <laughs> are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. Very well, Monsignor. Well... I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face. If a bit simple-looking, you'll have a much better hey, chance now. of learning their secrets. You flatter me. I Let's have a see. complicated life. Very well, then. I'll get working on it, sir. God be with you, my son. Okay, he did give me something to read here. Written down, Peter refused to give testimony upon the executioner's instructions to carry him to perform arts. However, he finally did. He met and, and so the executioner was again obligated to exercise his persuasion in which due course whenever suddenly the voice began to respond length I began my I began dozens of Temple of the Bride of the Alchemist. Towards the rising sun? I left the village and came upon a crossroads and did not know which way to go, so I fell on my knees and prayed in the... Oh, gosh. Okay, any case, let's look and see what the quest says to do. <laughs> Maybe they'll help me. Find the congregation, it says. Get rid of the vicar, find the congregation. What if I go and talk to the priest? He might have some information for me. Hey, hey. Do you have any work for me? No, I don't want to, I don't want to take your work. Okay, so it said 
here and then go towards the rising sun which is east and then what did it say after that let's look the babylonian tower i sent back towards, towards the rising sun which is obviously east when i left the village i came upon the crossroads i didn't know which way to go so let's look for the crossroads Crossroads. I left the village. I came upon a crossroads. That could be a crossroads, I guess. That's more like a Y, not really a cross. All right, let's get on the horse and see what we can see. Yeah. It might look different when we get to it. I mean, this could be a crossroads right here. So I fell on my knees, the prayer towards the right path. And suddenly I heard the sound of a thousand words and saw the queen in their towers. So I went through the mouth of the beast and by the ordeal I saw. And I drew hungry. All right, so we have to go right and we're looking for some kind of outcropping. Although maybe this is the right I'm supposed to take. Let's go for that. Let's say this is the right I'm supposed to take. Yeah, I'm not sure we're at the right point here. If we come back here, this looks like someplace they might be. Let's look at the map. Yeah, maybe we should have went this way. Or I wonder if... What is that? Who is talking? Oh. Oh, that's bad guys. Let's get out of here. So we can kill these guys, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to come back later. And kill them. Yeah, let's come back down this way. Yeah, I don't want to worry about them. We'll get to them later. Somebody will send me out to kill them eventually. If I come back down to here, and uh, they did leave me alone. Let me read the book again. All right, when I left the village, I came upon a crossroads, didn't know which way to go, so I prayed. The journey further on, all the once, tear rose from the ground of the jaws of the behemoth in I broke teeth broken teeth upon giant outlay in the heavens like a tombstone 
So I went through the mouth of the beast and by the something or ad I uh, possibly you know, so, so I'm looking for some kind of outcropping someplace look around look around look around let's try this way yeah it's got to be down one of these paths And we did go to the right. And then this brings us back to that forest again, huh? Yeah. I don't know about any outcroppings. Jagged teeth. Outcroppings of jagged teeth. So come out of Uswas and then go to the right. I wonder if it could be up this way. Let's look up that way. All right, don't get stuck in the bushes. Oh, come on. Stuck in the bushes. They will back up, back out of them. Okay. That'll work for us. Yeah. Okay, what's in here? Really, we're looking for a crossroads, though, and I could just be going in circles right now. This does not look like the right place. Crossroads. I mean, if I exit the village and went this way and then went right, we could come down this way. Let's look there. Um, being chased again. I really want to go and look in this little forest here. Okay, okay. Ah, we found it. We stumbled along it, more likely. Um, and this guy is chasing me still. I might have to get this. Oh, no, he left. Okay. So what did it say there? It said, um... Come out and look around, I think. Let's look at it. Quest log. Explore the gathering. Oh, there's a cross. A cross. Nicely carved. Hmm. Someone in the village might recognize it. Oh, chest. Gotta open it. Uh, we'll take this. I don't think I need the wool. I think we're fine. Anything else around here? Lots of herbs on the ground, but I don't think we have to get any of them. What about over here? Anything, anything, anything? 
Okay, well. Sneaky horse. Sneaky horse. All right, go back to the village. Now we probably want to talk to the priest about the, the cross. He probably knows who it belongs to. Yeah, where's the church at? Back this way. And the victor, the victor is hanging out with the concubine. That's so beautiful, man. That is so beautiful. <laughs> That's just funny. All right, where are you at, sir? Not in here. You're not there. There's the victor. Can I go up this? There is a way up, isn't there? Are you upstairs in your little, your little house? In a private area? Oh, but here's something that I can pick the lock on, maybe, and get experience. Oh, oh, it is a hard lock. Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, nothing in there. That's okay. I just want the experience of picking locks. Oh, here's a ladder. And watch, he's not going to be up here. Yeah, of course not. This is just the bell tower. Duh. How did I get to his room? I guess I could ring the bell. No? Oh, but look, it's in another chest to open up. <laughs> I will open it. Just to get the experience. Not that I particularly want to rob him. And these are a little bit harder. Oh, no. I gotta be careful here. There we go. Alright, I will take your money. And I'm gonna leave everything else. I might take that bard's potion. But I will be stealing it, so... Let's not. The money, they can't trace us. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to sleep. Let me up, sir. What's going on? No, I don't want to sleep. That's stupidness. Dumbness. All right, I want to go down the ladder, darn it. I don't need to hide particularly. Yeah, this was kind of a waste of time here, all right. Oh, I'm gonna... oh, I did not hurt myself. Thank God. Okay. There's the victor. Where is the priest at, though? Concubine. I cannot talk to her. Priest is not in here. Do I need to eat? I could eat. Okay. Is the priest at the pub? Where is he at? Oh, he's at the How pub. Are you, Henry? Look at this guy at the pub. Father, I wonder if you could tell me whose cross this is. Hmm. I do know. But I'm not sure I can tell you. I don't understand. Why not? People I... said they saw you talking with a vicar. They're afraid that Sir Hanu sent you here to help him. That's not how it is. And how is it? Sir Hanu sent me to find out what he wants, and to get him out of here if possible. Well, then we share the same interest. But I'd still prefer it to end with nobody burned at the stake. Mm 
You and me both. That's good to hear. Where did you find the cross? Let's do a deal. I'll tell you where I found it, and you tell me whose it is. Very well. Tell me. I found it in the woods. It looked like people met there. There were other things, candles, a cloth, and so on. Damn it! That really does seem like... That the vicar is right to be looking here. It surprised me, too. So whose is it? The cross is definitely the Bowers, I remember that. But that just can't be. I can't believe it. If they really are heretics, though... What do you want to do? I don't know. But I'll do anything in my power to prevent a heretic witch hunt taking hold here. I see. It wouldn't make Sir Hanish too happy either. My thoughts exactly. But the question still remains what to do about it. The vicar won't give up till he's found what he wants. You know what, boy? Before we do anything else, we ought to make sure whether there really are heretics here. What do you propose? That's simple. Listen to how they say their prayers. What good will that do us? Prayers are sacred to all Christians, heretic or devotee. But if they are heretics, they are bound to pray differently. And how will I know there's something wrong with their prayers? Don't you know how true Christians pray? Um, I suppose so. <laughs> But how can I listen to their private prayers? I don't suppose they'll be praying that way in the church. Certainly not. In the church they'd pray the usual way. But at home it's a different matter entirely. I know they meet at the farm in the evening with all the domestics. They'll surely be praying then. All right. But how can I listen in? I don't know. Crouch beneath the window? Climb up in the loft? That way you'll be sure to hear everything said in the main room. What do you know about the Bowers? When I think about it now, they're a little peculiar. What do you mean? Well, they do rather keep themselves to themselves. They attend Mass, true enough. But they leave the moment it's over. And I've never seen them at a dance or a celebration of any kind. But on the other hand, they give more alms to the needy in the village than anyone. I can't deny them that. Where did those Bower folk come from? I don't really know. Uh, I've never spoken to them much, but they've not been here long, only two or three years. Hmm. And the cross? Did you consecrate that for the Bowers themselves? No. It belonged to the family who lived on the farm before them. That was quite a sad story. Right, I'll get on with it. It's a sad story that you're not going to tell me about, I guess. Okay, Goodbye. gotcha. Sneak into the Bower property, inspect, report to, to the victor. Where's my horse? Sneaky horse, where are you at? There you are, sneaky horse. Okay, let's check our map. Where are we going? Down here it is. Yeah, let's go. Pebbles. Every village has its water carriers. There is a task here. I don't think it's important to us right now, at least. This does not look like their farm. We should probably check the map here pretty soon to figure out how to get there. Could just cut across country. I guess that would be fine. There is a trail right there. I do need to slow down a bit with the horse. 
course rest. Go. Oh, it's a grave. Should we dig it up? No, I'm not going to dig it up. That just seems wrong. <laughs> okay. Just seems wrong. Let's not do it. It's out in the open. Let's not chance that we get caught. So, this looks like the vicar's house. Or I mean the uh, the Bower's house, whatever their, their name was. And of course, there's a ladder that leads up into the loft. Let's check our quest to see what it says. Report to sneak into the Bower's property and eavesdrop on their evening prayers. What time is it? Yeah, we can wait. That's fine. What's going on? I just got crazy music. Oh, maybe I shouldn't go this way. I'll come out this way. Sure. And we'll kind of sneaky. We'll be sneaky. Hop the fence. Use the ladder. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm up here. Okay. Ah, All right. I could try listening from here. And then we have a wait button even. Let's do it. Well, I expect to get a cutscene. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are bound to receive. Okay, I can see a problem already. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The fact that she's giving the prayer is not right. <laughs> yeah, because only the men give prayers at this time. They took old Vensel to the presbytery today. His farm is nearby. It's only a matter of time before... Before they come for me. I know. And what are we going to do about it? That vicar is baying for blood, the beast. He will devour you alive. I do not intend to do anything about it. I shall not waver from my faith, nor turn my back on it. My dear, what on earth are you saying? If they come for me, I will go quietly. And I will not lie. Are you serious? Don't you know what they'll do to you? I can well imagine. But I am resolved. The Lord have mercy. Do not fear. I surrender to God's will. And I do not condemn you if you decide to leave. I'll stay by your side. Although I'd rather that you decided otherwise. I know. And you have no fear, my brothers in Christ. Stay true to God's plan as I shall. Go and spread the true faith amongst all good folk. The true faith. I'm sorry, I wish there was another way. You should eat your supper and depart right away. Who knows? He may come for us at dawn. Okay. Sneak up on the... We did that. All right. Really nothing up here to do, so let's go. Okay, hop the fence. Get back on the horse. Go back to the to town. I might have to wait until morning. It's going to be really late.
Yeah, I probably should just wait till morning, I think. Where is the inn? I'll have to buy another night. Well, he locked the door on me. Um, oh, yeah, we could uh try to pick the lock. This could go very badly. We'll sneak in. Close the door. Oh, that's him right there. Can we sneak past him? We'll pay him tomorrow. <laughs> we will. I'll pay him for tonight's rest tomorrow. We'll see how this works. He might come up and, and get us in the morning and call us a thief, but... So I think we have to wait until at least 8, right? Like, we could eat some food now. Oh, our balanced diet has activated. That gives us bonuses of some kind or another. I just figure out how you can check your bonuses. See, he's not there anymore. Could we unlock these chests just to get experience? I think so. Almost messed that up. Nothing in there I want. Oh, this one's very hard. We probably cannot open it. Oh, okay. Let's go. And we can probably not crouch and hide anymore. We're probably okay now. Let's eat some food. Because we are hungry. And... Are you out here? There you are. Here, let me pay for last night's be bed. With you. Just because it's the right thing to do. Uh, oh well. I can't I can't get a room okay well then screw you then let's find the priest there he is right there so I went to check on the Bower farm and I don't have good news do tell they most certainly are heretics at least as far as I can tell are you sure what did you hear the prayer was led by a woman. How dare they? Well, for a start, the evening prayers were led by a woman. That is certainly unusual, but nothing conclusive in itself. But that's not all. They're afraid the vicar will be coming after them. Who wouldn't fear that? That swine finds fault with everyone. Well, it's not like you'd have to try too hard. Mrs. Bower plans to confess everything. Confess what, exactly? Most likely her faith. The people of the farm were trying to discourage that, but her mind's made up. Oh, good lord, that's all I need. What am I to do? I don't know, but we have to help them. You're quite right. You have to talk them out of it, Hal. You must convince them to run. Convince them? That's easy for you to say. You haven't heard her talking. I'm sure you'll find a way. You have to try at least, for their own good and for yours, Hal. You're right. Someone has to help them. I'm glad you see it that way. Now hurry. You never know when the vicar might come for them. God be with you. Okay, that seems like a reasonable kind of thing. Let's uh, clean up first. Sneaky horse. Sneaky horse? Are you over here, sneaky horse? Okay. By the way, if you want to see your perks, I think you go to player and then buffs. And you can see all your active perks here. And you can go on here and see what they do. Plus two. Sprinting. 
you're not as loud and plus one to vitality and agility stats strength agility vitality we have a point i haven't been able to figure out where to spend that point yet i don't think i have one to spend here oh i can pick scholar but your strength and war no i don't want those i don't know if i want any of those particularly i mean i could take scout but it's not that big a deal 10% of evading increases. Yeah, just not that big a deal. And these, I'm not sure I'm worried about either. I don't want bloodletting. I don't want rusty edge. Drinking stealth. Let's see what we got in stealth. Got rain man. Oh, we need silent kill. And we need this one. I'm going to take silent kill first. Yeah, I want to be able to silent kill people. That will be helpful. We have to ride back out to the farm, I think, to convince her. I think I have a bard's potion, which I'm going to take because it's a very important conversation that we have to convince her to leave. And I want to make sure that we're more successful at it. So I will use that bard's potion before I get to there. And last time we didn't go quite the same, the right direction. So we're going to take a slightly different route. Hopefully make it there by the road this time. Yeah, we'll take this road. See if that gets us there better. It looks like it will. And slow down a little bit and we'll rest. You can see we have another active perk now. Savage. So we took the outside versus the inside skill. Perk. Yeah. Is that the farm right there? I think it is. Okay, let's look at our food. Increase speech. Let's take that. No, we want to eat it. And there she is. Let's talk to her. Mistress Bower. What is it you need? I've come to ask something of you. Have you? And just who are you, young man? That doesn't matter. The important thing is that I want to help you and your husband. I admit that I'm a little confused. You've come to ask me something, but at the same time you want to help me. What's going on? I want to ask you not to confess to the vicar. Just take your husband and get out of here while there's still time. I have no idea why you're so taken with my fate. Or how you found out about my intentions. But I'll tell we you We were spying thing. on you. Changing my and, mind And one of my cats is up here bumping the microphone. I won't betray try to get her down a little bit. my brothers in Christ. But now you've got a chance to escape. Surely you won't throw it away. I won't oppose God's will for me. For heaven's sake, woman. If it were God's will you should burn, it would have happened a long time ago. You can't know that. And don't you think the investigation is dragging on a bit? Do you think nobody in the village speaks badly of you? Don't fool yourself. Those old people from the farm who keep to themselves, they're ripe for denouncing, aren't they? And yet nobody's come to arrest you so far. It may just be that God is giving you time to get away. You may be right. Success! But I can't lie. It's against all my teaching. You won't have to lie if you're never asked any questions. Just leave. You can preach elsewhere. I'm sure you have lots of friends who'd love to take you in. But I don't want to run. 
No one wants to run away, but sometimes we have no choice. If you run, your faith will live on. That must mean something. You're right. I shouldn't give in so easily. I've just grown so weary of the endless persecution. You should pack up and run away as soon as you can. The vicar might get here any minute. Thank you. Don't delay. Take care. Okay. Ah, uh, we did it. Excellent job on that. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we have to do next? Looks like we have to go back and report to the victor. I'm guessing. Okay. Where do we have to go this way? Ugh, watch what you're doing. Dude, what chill you out. You'll be fine. Hey, Let's come over here and we'll wash up before we talk to the victor. After all, you know, gotta pre be presentable and make a uh, a convincing argument. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I found them, Monsignor. Pardon me. I found the heretics. Really? And who are they? The Bauer family and their entire household. Hmm. Well, I expect you to give me some evidence. In the last few days, I've been hearing how practically everyone here is a heretic. I found that place the captive heretic talked about, and I found a family cross there. It took a bit of asking around, but I learned it belongs to the Bowers. Their farm isn't far from here, to the north. And then all I had to do was go there and do a little spying. What of it? What did you hear? Nothing at all. The farm was deserted. Not a living soul anywhere. Ha! They fled. So they are heretics. What will you do, Monsignor? It's not the first time the Devil's Spawn has fled from me. I'll do the same as always. Track them down and capture them. As long Don't as you worry. leave. <laughs> they won't get far. <clears throat> Thank you for your help. You may leave. Take care now. Okay. Do we have anything else? Let's do give to Sir Hamish. Give word to Sir Hamish. 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 Something like that. And he's way the heck down here, of course. So we will ride down to there. That will take most of the day, I imagine. Wood cutting there going on. Neuhoff. I wonder how much money we have now. Probably have a fair amount. Not an unbelievable amount though, probably. God bless you. What troubles you? It's all sorted out, sir. You've no need to worry about the vicar anymore. Excellent. Some good news at last. I've heard some pretty wild rumors from Ujits. So what happened there exactly? Maybe this will surprise you, sir, but there really were heretics in Ujits. Are you telling me the vicar didn't come to stick his nose in my possessions? I don't know about that. But he definitely suspected there were heretics hereabouts, and he was right. Christ! A man doesn't expect that sort of thing in his own fiefdom. Did you catch them? No, they ran away. The vicar's investigation wasn't exactly low-key. Anyway, they've definitely fled beyond your estate. Well, that's at least something. And the vicar? He's probably hot on their heels. Hmm, well, I hope he doesn't come back. Anyway, Henry, thanks for dealing with that vicar. You pulled a thorn from my side. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Thank you, sir. Good luck, then. Dude, he gave us a sword. I think I have one of those swords. Oh, and he gave us some money. 
you know, let's look at the sword. Can I use it is the question. No, I still need some more strength. So I will move that to my horse at least. No reason I need to be carrying it around. And this is still a good sword for me. And this is still good for me. What is... What are my stats right now? Six and seven. Okay. So be it. All right. And I think that's the end of the quest. Right? It's gone. Thanks so much for watching until the end of the video. I will see you next time. Bye.